Welcome back to Money Makes. My name is Callie, and today we're going to be making healthy pancakes. So these pancakes have everything that you love about a traditional pancake. They're going to be fluffy. They're going to be soft. They're going to be absolutely incredible. But with the addition of a few ingredients, these are going to have a little bit of a nutritional boost, and you are absolutely going to love them. And I can't wait to share this recipe with you. So let's get right into it. But before we begin, as always, please remember to subscribe, like, share, chat in the comment section, and follow me on social media for more recipes and additional content. So let's get right into it. These are the ingredients that we are going to be using. I have some all-purpose flour, I have some wheat flour, I have some uh, ground chia, ground flax, a little bit of cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, I also have a little bit of sugar. You can substitute honey or maple syrup for granulated sugar if you'd like. I just think that these kind of come out a little bit better with granulated sugar, but it's up to you. I also have here some oat flour. So you could buy prepackaged oat flour or you could do what I like to do, which is just take oats, put them in a food processor, a blender, whatever you have, a ninja, pulverize them until they're kind of at a really thin, uh, powdery texture, like so. I have some vanilla. I have a little bit of coconut oil. You could also use um, butter rather than coconut oil if you'd like. I have an egg. But what I've done here, and this I think is a really good trick that I learned um, from a different recipe on Tasty for their just regular buttermilk pancakes. And this trick is to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. And the reason for that is because doing so, we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to it, once we start making these pancakes, is going to provide a really kind of fluffy, pancake without having to whip the egg whites to sift peaks and we'll talk about that later. I have some salt in here. I have some buttermilk. You could also use any kind of dairy free um, or any kind of milk really uh, that you like. So let's get right into it. First things first, I'm going to take all of my dry ingredients, which includes my all purpose flour, my wheat flour, my chia, my cinnamon, my flax, baking powder, baking soda. And now I'm going in with some kosher salt. And I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk to combine. So, as you might have noticed in this recipe, I'm using a combination of wheat flour and all-purpose flour. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just find that it kind of lends to a better texture than using all wheat flour. If you'd like, you can use all all-purpose flour, but I think the combination of the two, again, gives it a little bit of that nutritional boost that we're going for. Um, and it kind of just helps the pancakes keep their shape a little better. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, oh, whoopsies, I forgot to add in my oat flour. I'm just gonna stir this up really quick. Okay, perfect. So next, we're gonna go in with our wet ingredients. So that includes, in my case, some buttermilk. Mine, I'm actually using buttermilk with a little bit of 2% uh, milk because I was almost out of the buttermilk. So anything kind of will do. I'm using coconut oil. So that is going in now. And like I said earlier, butter will do the trick, whatever you want to do. And I'm gonna go in with my egg yolk. And now I'm just gonna give this a stir until it's combined. And like with any kind of pancake, the trick to a really, really great pancake with a perfect texture is to kind of keep some of the lumpy, bumpy kind of flour um, in the batter. So do not over mix the batter, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, perfect. It doesn't even need to be fully incorporated at this point because we have our final ingredient, which is the egg white. So, I'm gonna add that in. Now I'm gonna switch over to, whoopsies, I'm making a big mess, my spatula. And, I hope that doesn't fall. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a quick whisk. I'm just gonna kinda fold in that egg white. And what I mean by folding is taking my spatula and running it around the bottom and all the way through the center of the batter to incorporate the egg white. So you just wanna stir this up until you don't see any more of that kind of runny egg white running through the batter. And I'm telling you, this is going to provide a really fluffy pancake. Don't ask me why, <laughs> but it's really a nice shortcut instead of you know whipping the egg white to stiff peaks and then folding in the egg white, which you can obviously do. Um, but it just provides a really great texture with literally no extra work. And I think that's what everyone is going for on say, a Sunday morning. No one's trying to do anything difficult. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna make some pancakes. Okay, so we are back here. I have a nonstick pan that's heating up over medium low. I sprayed it with a little bit of nonstick spray. And then what I did was I added about a quarter to a third a cup of the batter into the pan. And so now what I'm waiting for is a bunch of teeny tiny little bubbles to cover the surface of the pancake like, like you can see here. Once you see those bubbles, that is gonna let you know 
to flip the pancake. After you flip the pancake, you're gonna cook the other side for about a minute or so. So, I oh, I also wanna point out that as you can see here, I already made one pancake just to kind of give you um, an idea of what it's gonna look like. And look how perfect this is. It's so fluffy and beautiful. And also remember the first pancake for whatever reason is always kind of the wonkiest. And that one came out really, really great. So, I see a bunch of teeny tiny, bu teeny, tiny bubbles. So, I'm gonna give it a flip. And now I'm gonna cook this, like I said, an additional minute or so. And then I'm gonna give you a close up of just how fluffy and absolutely amazing these healthier pancakes really are. Okay, so we are back. I hope you enjoyed that close-up, and I hope that you were able to get at least a little bit of an idea of how kind of soft and fluffy these pancakes really are. And it takes zero extra effort to really make these pancakes so much more healthy with the addition of chia seeds, flax seeds, oats, honey, you name it. These are absolutely amazing. And if you really wanna kind of take these over the edge, top them with some blueberries, bananas, whatever you like, you are gonna love them. So as always, for the full written recipe and instructions, head to my blog, minimakes.com. I'll put the link for that in the description box below. Click on the link, the recipe will come right up and make these pancakes. I promise you're gonna love them. And let me know what you think because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.